let's uh, maximize the window and then look at the QC report. So this is the report. So let's start with with one. So we have this metric there. So you can click on each of them to see what is happening. Okay, so we have them like this. So we just click and then everything will be given to you. Okay, so I would first you see when the reports are generated for each of these sessions here, um, they will have one of three colors, green or this color, which is like orange, and then also have the red. If it's green, that means everything is okay. If you have this color here, which is um, orange or so, yeah, then that means uh, it's it's a warning. So you may want to just check what is happening. If it's red, that means that something is wrong or probably something unexpected has happened. And so first you see will raise um, this alarm for you by giving this color here. So you just have to check and then see what is happening. Of course, sometimes it can be red, but it doesn't mean something is wrong. So you just have to uh, know what's happening. You just have to understand your data and then that will help you to really confirm if something is wrong or not. So that's about it. So let's look at this one here, per base sequence quality. With the first QC, the per base sequence quality gives you the quality scores for bases, okay? So we have three areas here. When it's here, that means the quality is very, very low. So you can see this box and risk up plot here. If you have them coming to this side, then the quality is very, very low. Okay, so you can see the scores also here. So anything below 20, it's in this region, which means low quality. If it's here, uh, somehow good, so that's also there and if it's here that means it's high quality because the scores are high okay so anything above 28 that means it's high quality and so you can use this to just have an idea of the quality of your reads so that's about it so here you can see that uh, some of the bases the quality is very low Okay, the quality is low, so you can see them moving to this side here. Uh, this is to be expected with Illumina read. So sometimes, if you see them, you shouldn't be surprised because Illumina reads sometimes have um, some of their reads, especially those at the ends, okay, having low quality. So that is a feature of Illumina reads. And so if you have um some of your bases in this region okay the quality being in this region here you can and do what you call quality trimming to trim those reads and that um, have poor quality so you can use tools like circle trim galore etc to uh, do the trimming okay and that will help you to improve the quality of the of the reads that you have here so that's about it so let's look at r2 r2 you can see that the Qualities here are very low compared to R1. Okay, the quality of the reads here, the bases here um, are low. You can see a lot of them in this region. So again, you can do quality trimming to remove those reads that are of low quality. And then after that, you can proceed with your downstream analysis. So uh, that's about it. Today, I'm just doing a test run with the first QC. So I will not uh, go into details for today. QC report. So that's about it. So now we have used the graphical user interface to run fast QC. So after you are done, you can go to file and you can also save the reports here. So let's save both of them. You can save the report. So click on save reports. And let's just create a directory. Let's say Let's see reports and then you will save both reports there. Let's click on this one and also save the reports. 
So you have saved them there. So now you can close it. You can close it here. You can also come to file and then close, close all or close. So if you go to close, it will close the current window. Close all will close everything. Or you can just also use this or exit.